Okay, let's just start chapter 5, the MRTG configuration number 4. In the previous video, I explained about the how to set up many devices and how to set up the MRTG also. Now, the, let's start from the number 4. The access controller for MRTG access. Normally, the MRT is used the web server, so to access MRT directory in the website, normally we need to this kind of the access control. If we open this file, etc, conf d, MRT is conf. So here we can find this kind of access control, especially here, allow from the local host or in my case, 192.160. Uh, 80.0 network. So in this network can access MRTG directory. And after that, the uh, service restart and the number five, cron tab. Normally the MRTG is a monitoring tool to monitor our network service regularly. So to use this kind of MRT service, we need to register this uh, service to cron tab. Cron tab is a service to execute regularly according to the setup of the time so in this case in my case i will make uh, this uh, script already those so this script will be executed per five minutes according to cron tab and after that the service cron the start and we have we need to the register this cron the service to each the neighbor and the number six, the testing MLTG. So if we are successful so far, we can access to this directory, uh, testing MLTG graph. Okay. Uh, okay, then the let's uh, test this one. Okay, so here, at first time, uh, etc conf here, let's, oh, okay, etc pd conf d, so here we can find the mltg conf, okay, let's uh, open, so in my case here, the, in the URL MLTG will point this directory and first time order deny all and after that just we can define the allowing network address for example this one the local host and the, another one in my case 192.168 network so from this network can access to this URL and almost thing etc cron D. So here we can find MLTG. So let's, uh, in my case, uh, here I add, and after that, so here, uh, star slash five. Star and the star. And after that, uh, loot. In my case, uh, okay, loot MRTG SH. So in this case, for five minutes, the this script will be executed. Okay, and after that, etc MRTG. So here I need to copy MRTG. Okay, let's check MRTG script first. This one I already created like this, so I need to copy MRTG here. So then the cron tab will read this uh, script regularly, especially the in my case the for five minutes. And the uh, service cron the uh, Restart and after that, ground on yeah, to check list cron. So in my case, the level two, three, four, five, the cron the cron the service activated. Uh, okay, so one more thing. 
here let's try to make a okay one more thing let's try to make an index file index maker output output will be var ww mltg normally the mltg first time does not support the index file so we have to make this file using the manually uh, and after that windows and routers like this okay which one ah sorry here uh, index dot html like this so let's check var ww mltg so here where is the index so we can find this file okay and after that let's try to access okay first time localhost so we can find the index file and after that mltg index.htm okay now i can find this kind of the graph so for example from the server here and the, this mean the from the windows server and uh, we must see analysis for uh okay this one not this one Okay, here, this one from the router servers, so R2, R2, like this. Okay, let's check first time the, the Linux server. If I click this one, I can find the, the default information from the Linux server. And here I can find the, uh, in my case, this one is a kind of the, the average, the traffic for five minutes, or 30 minutes, or the two hours like this and the yearly and the here we can find the, the exact number so for example like this the in, in i am in the input this one the output so input data is like this and uh, how about the router okay r2 so this one also have we can find this kind of the basic information the ip address like this and uh, also this one the five minute average so here the uh, how about the 15 the 15 byte for second this one too the 22 byte for second like this this one also and uh, this monthly graph yearly graph so using the mltg we can the analysis for each the traffic for each network interfaces okay then now uh, we are successful to implement the mltg service okay chapter 6 adding more target it mean now i just uh, only uh, only the configure only the network interface traffic but except network interface traffic we can add more target for example here cpu first and the second like a memory usage and the third disk usage like this if we want to add more target like a cpu memory disk we can add this kind of configuration file for example this one target will be the cpu uh, ip address in 85 and this kind of informations we can add so if we configure like this we can also the analysis the traffic or the usage of the cpu memory disk like this especially here target is in the graph we can find this one and this one page and the title we can find this kind of title in the graph so here only uh okay this one on the scale this one it means the daily weekly monthly yearly data means okay then let's add uh, this one mltg okay etc tg 
Uh, okay, in my case, uh, let's try to. So, MRTG configuration file. In the end part, okay. Okay, and uh, one more thing. Let's go etc mrtg. So in my case, I already made this one uh, mrtg. So okay, this one I will copy. Okay, first set no and new. And after that, I will copy this one like this and the copy and here I will paste and after that uh, in my case uh, some information is different first one this one must be change chong and the IP address 85 and the maximum byte uh, and the trash this one notify sh okay then let's check so now let's try to sh shell script again okay one more thing and after that so let's check var so here can you find here CPU like this CPU and uh, in the browser okay let's go back to... uh, I'm seeing okay index file index file. let's try to make index file index maker uh, food W uh, MLTG index dot HTML and uh, MLTG CFG Windows and Loud. Okay. After that, service HPD restart. Okay, let's try to read. Okay, so here we can find the CPU. Okay, let's read. So this one, the daily graph and the weekly graph, and the monthly graph and yearly graph. So if we want to add just, we can see, we can add this kind of information to the configuration file. For example, MR CFG. So here I add like this so you only the target is a target is a CPU so normally the target name is the same to the uh, HTML file like this CPU HTML like this okay so let's go back to chapter 7 if we want to configure email notification to the MLTG then in this case we can use this kind of configuration first one open this file here mltg cfg and after that now already there is a work directory we need to add this one trash directory the default will be var run mltg if we don't have this one just make this directory and after that for each target in my case i will configure cpu so here only we need to like this this kind of things first one transit maximum info cpu 90 percent transit minimum info cpu 50 percent so maybe if the cpu usage is over 90 percent in this case trash this one program input this program will be executed so i already uh, made this one this is a kind of the shell script so here so maybe if the device is uh, 
uh, the threshold is over, for example, like a CPU 90%, then this one will make uh, this kind of the subject threshold a lot, and the device already the past the maximum CPU like this. And uh, this one will send the email to my email address. But uh, before you use this one, number two, you have to check the, your SMTP working is, uh, is working well or not like this. Okay, chapter eight, the MLT is authentication. If we want to configure authentication to access MLT directory in the URL, in this case, we need to configure like this. Number one, web server configuration. In the com main configuration file, we need to configure like this. Here, VAR WWMLTG. So especially, we need to add this, uh, the keyword as configuration. And after that, service reload while it start. And after that, we need to make an access file like this, .ht access. So here, only four lines. Authentication name. If we want, anytime you can change this one. And authentication time base is 64. And the user file will be .ht password. And only this password can access to this directory. And after that, we need to make password file like this. C create here the file name will be and username like this and at that we can the test local, uh, local host MLTG here then the MLTG will request ID password for authentication okay then let's try here first one let's just check the email notification here okay first MLTG CFG. In my case, okay, let's check here. In my case, I configure like this trash maximum input 85. So, CPU, if the CPU you see is over 80%, then this program, input program, this one. SH. So in my case, I already configured like this, this one, USR. Okay, let's check. USR local has been notify SH. So I already configured, may create this file like this. And the uh, CPU, okay, almost thing in the, okay, in the, Global section, I need to add THRE trash DIR in my case, VAR run MLTG like this. If I uh, let's check VAR run MLTG, okay, in my case, I already have this one. So if you don't have just make like this, MKDIR VAR run MLTG like this. Okay, now, and after that, uh, first checking, in my case, okay, send mail. So you have to check that your the base of SMTP is working well or not like this. So now the, if the CPU you see is over 90%, this script will send the email to this uh, to my email account like this and almost thing the authentication okay let's go cd here okay in my case i already created like this line number 394 VAR WWMLTG. So here you can find just this keyword as config. That is the options. And after that, etc. Oh, okay. VAR TG. In my case, uh, .ht access here. So now I'm staying here. Let's uh, read the ht access. So I already made this one. 
us name, authentication type, and us user file that HD password and users from only this file. Okay, and after that, let's go back here. So here, I password create uh, password date. And uh, in my case, uh, user will be tland. Okay, tland, tland. Oh, okay, let's uh, delete. Okay, again. Okay, let's try to use your Linux. Okay, now I made uh, okay, it, uh, created this file, and after that, let's read. So here there is a username Linux like this. Okay, service is reload. Okay, now let's uh, read uh, here. New test local host MLTG index dot html so here i can found uh, this kind of authentication in my case username linux and password linux the same okay so now i'm access to mltg directory so here i can the see what i can analysis all the traffic from the uh, all the managed devices. Okay, so far I explained about the, the monitoring tool MLTG. So in this uh, two video, I explained about the network, the monitoring structures, and in monitoring the structure, there is uh, some the factors like uh, managed devices in this video i set up the linux server windows server and cisco router as the managed devices and the number three and after that i show you how to set up mltg as a monitoring tool and the number four how to use mltg so in this video i already show how to add more target and how to set up email notification and how to set up mltg authentication like this Okay, thank you for watching my video MRTG and see you next video. God bless you.